How's it going guys? It's Poetry Set and welcome back to another episode of the CK2 Monks and Mystics campaign. Um, this is probably the last time I'll mention this, but again, I was uh, given this code by um, by Paradox for this early review coverage. So just keep that in mind, um, if that's something you care about really. But either way, welcome back. Um, I'm having a great time so far and it's... Uh, it's I haven't really gotten super far down the like the storylines and event lines um, of the monks and mystics stuff yet, which is really uh, interesting. It's showing that it's actually a little bit more difficult than I might have thought to to go down those lines, which is good. I think I think it's more good than it is bad. Uh, that's right. I have an alliance with you. I need to take your land. We'll take Trent eventually, but for now, I guess we don't worry about it. We're also trying to kill our mom to get that stuff. I think we're, let's just not worry about it. She's going to die anyways eventually. She can't have any more kids, so no worries. Um, meanwhile, I think we want to, uh, to go to war with you soon, right? We, do we have these claims? Yes. Saluzzo and Monferrato. Weak claims, which means we need to murder you. This kid is five. Perfect. Perfect. We have plenty of time. We have, like... Ten years to do this. Unfortunately, ooh, I was going to say, unfortunately, we might not be able to get enough people to join, but because it's the whole Holy Roman Empire, we absolutely will, I think. No, don't do that. Oh, oh, the game. Hello? Hold on. Game just, like, chugged for a second. I thought that might have crashed. No, we're good. Don't worry about it. You know, you know how CK2 is. Don't worry about it. All right, cool. It's an Iron Man anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. Hmm. I want all the plot power in the world. Yeah, there we go. If we can do this, this would be great. Uh, we have... What are we? We are a... Um, <clears throat> tough soldier. Oh, that, that's nice. I showed... Last episode, at the end of the last episode, I was saying uh, it's the second worst out of four. Um, but yeah. I should have realized that it actually has the the number of dots there of which you know best one it is. Two meaning uh, second worst, or you know the second in line for the more pip. It's pips, you know. It's like any of four. The more pips, the better. That's exactly what it is, actually. Um, idle council members. Okay, do we have a better counselor chancellor now? No. But I think we go ahead and maybe say, who Duke of Tuscany, you're a juicy target. Claim Lucca? No, we don't want to do that. Not yet, anyways. Hmm, <clears throat> what other stuff do we want to do, though? Let's look at Dejure Kingdoms. Could be good to try to take Sardinia over. Hmm. Something like that. Hmm. <clears throat> I kind of like that idea. I kind of like that idea. Let's try that for now. <clears throat> Does your duchies, duchies wise, Nice is part of Provence. Then got Susa. Genoa is only one province. Um, who else? Train troops, of course, and improve religious relations. Cool. And now we're going to go over to this guy. And sorry, I just killed your dad and I'm going to declare war on you. One second. Why can I not declare war on both of you? Is it because you don't hold both of them directly? Oh, it's because this dude is... Um, that makes sense. But if but if we kill this dude, then it's going to go to the Duchess of Majorca, who will be a... Okay, hold on. We're going to have to do a few things here. Here. Help me out with this real quick, please. Come on. Help me out. You know you like it. You know you want it. No. Alright. Uh, hey, we already got a claim on Arborea. Nice. 2nd of April, we can do a new job for you. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I understand this now. So we'll have to... Okay. 
We need to kill this dude first, though. Hold on, let's try this. Let's try to kill this guy first. Not necessarily gonna work, huh? Hmm. It's almost time for a new job for our dude. Okay, now we put you in Cagliari. And we can go to war for the, you know, the Sardinia stuff. And that'll be good. You can hold up to three duchies, I believe. Which is good. We could hold Provence and hopefully Susa and Lombardy and then give away the uh, Sardinia one. Or we could just not make the Duchy of Sardinia. Actually, that'd probably be easier if we're being honest. Alright, hold on. Could I just declare war? Oh, no, no, no. I can't because of the fact that he is not a kid or a woman, of course. I should know this stuff. Um, Alright, tell you what. Maybe we'll just call... Go to war with you. Yeah, let's do it. Claim Monferrato. That's good. Let's do it. Why not? Hmm. Curious what's gonna happen actually after we do this. Yeah, go and smash them. Why not? Especially since this guy is your vassal. Will you end up taking his land from him or what? I'm, I'm a little confused. Whatever. I guess we'll find out what's gonna happen after we're done sieging it down. Yeah, we should definitely upgrade. Uh, be upgrading our, our stuff here. Hmm. Maybe not the best idea to do that, huh? Oh, we actually ha still have that loan with the Jewish. That's funny. Yeah, we have a deficit. That's not good. Angelo? of liberation of Italy. Interesting. I mean, you're certainly gonna die, but I like to see that sort of fighting spirit, you know? You shouldn't do that, but I'm gonna do it. Cool, there we go, we won this war. Enforce demands. So, what happened here? Okay, it did what I thought it would do. It kicked the dude out of uh, Saluzzo that was already there and gave, because otherwise he would have been an unlanded duke with a vassal who did have land, so it didn't make any sense. Cool, okay, that's good, because now if we murder this guy again, then we can att attack his, uh, his little sister that's gonna inherit right away. It's so mean, isn't it? That's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's try to murder him. Okay. That is what I would like to do. Now isn't it? Now isn't it? Plot power. Hmm. Yeah, we should be able to get him killed. Hmm. Hey, the Knights of St. John. Cool. Um, oh yeah, also, something I was gonna say, um, I was gonna talk about this a couple episodes, a couple episodes ago now, actually, but I forgot. Um, the, one of the reasons that I'm actually choosing to play in Italy is because I'm taking an Italian 101 class, and, uh, well, so if you don't know a little bit about me, um, I am a double major uh, at my university right now. One major is communications, and the other one is, um, my other major is modern language in Spanish. And so I know Spanish fairly well. Like, I would say I'm semi-fluent. But, like, I, I could hold a conversation with someone if I needed to. I just might understand every word they say. But, um, but anyways, but then I'm taking Italian 101 because I thought it'd be fun. And it has been really fun and really helpful, honestly, to understand both Spanish and English better, I would say, as well as Italian. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I thought it, I've been playing more in Italy recently and trying to, like, just pick up on some, like, names and places in Italy just for fun, you know? I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> anyways. Uh, siege equipment is pretty good. Let's go with the uh, religious customs or noble cust noble customs. Those are normally the most important, actually. Hmm. Sixty-nine percent is is like the perfect number, but not in this case. I want to I want it to be higher. Oh yes, we finally did it. Okay, we have inherited. We have inherited the land from our mom. Finally, which is good. 
That's actually really good. Um, so what land do we control directly now? Lombardy owns all of that. At which point we own the province of province. <laughs> Provence. Uh, okay, cool. So we own... We also own uh, Venicene. Okay. Uh, Akatan culture. Let's look at culture map mode, actually. Italian all through here, and then Akatan. Interesting. Um, I think we want to get... Well, Provence is like a really good province, but it's it's about as good as Milan um, in terms of cap. But it's not going to be our capital. We're going to keep our capital in Milan for now. It's uh, the traditional capital. So what we're going to do instead, though, is we are going to give away these provinces, um, but we're going to keep the duchy for ourselves, of course. Uh, so let's go over here and say, hey, look at uh, this dude, Salvestro d'Este. You. What if I granted you some landed titles, uh, like Provence? There you go. You're now a vassal. Is this a... Is this a... What is this? This is a retinue troop? Is that really what that is? It is. We have a retinue. Huh. Cool. Um, and we own this province too. Let's go look at our family tree. Do we have any family members? That's my cousin. Yeah. Cecilia. Adelasia. Alberto. Berta. We don't really have... Uh, we don't really have any other lines, do we? My half-brother... Oh, you're a bastard. You know what? That's fine. Let's uh, let's give you some land. I feel like being nice today. Cool. There you guys go. Set crown focus in... I want to set it in Milan, of course. Cool. It's pretty good. Why are you imprisonable? Hmm. He was wounded by... My steward was wounded. That's great. That's great. Yeah! Nice! Okay, we have become lustful. Because we become lustful, I say, you know, why don't we just go ahead and freaking, freaking do it? We're gonna follow the ways of our fathers. Let's, let's just make up our own roleplay and say that maybe there was like some sort of, um, you know, maybe there was some sort of note that our, our, you know, our dad and our granddad and his granddad, uh, left behind telling the son subtle clues about what he should do in this case, meaning, that we should go ahead and uh, signal for the, you know, these people to come here. Okay, I'm having dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm not gonna read these event chains anymore because we've seen it a few times. Oh. Hey, there we go. There we go. Also, like, just look at our our realm. We're quite a bit more powerful now than we were before. Uh, quite a few troops, you know. <laughs> Owning all this Provence area, we have quite a few vassals now. Um, and this is the, the du jour Duchy of Provence. That's actually in the Duchy of Dauphine, lots of it. I wonder if we could actually, like... I think if we owned one more, we could just take it. Uh, Dauphine, sorry. Not Dauphine. Dauphine. Um, yeah, if we owned one more, we could actually just get the, the Duchy of Dauphine. Uh, and that actually, you know what, that reminds me, something we could do is try to create the Duchy of Burgundy first. That might be the plan that we want to do, and then eventually do Italy. Huh. Could be interesting to do that. Um, but we're making progress in both kingdoms, so that's good. But it's, it's really nice to have Provence, though, as sort of our nominal secondary duchy. Nice. Our nominal, nominal secondary, um, duchy, um... It's kind of nice. You get a lot of it's a lot of money and stuff. That's one thing. So yeah, but we need to keep working on connecting up our land in between. Okay. Meanwhile, we have just killed the dude there, so now we can declare war on you. Yay! Claim salute. So sorry about this, but I need that land, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Must be funny. That's not how the lyrics go. Cynical. I think cynical is a good trait. It's a little bit less monthly piety, but we... Sh yes. But I believe it's still... Yeah, we're still gaining piety, so I don't really care. <laughs> you don't even need piety for that much either, so... Uh, during the battle, you fearlessly charged ahead on horseback directly into the enemy ranks. 
Members of your personal guard riding beside you tumbled off their horses as enemy arrows found their marks, but your charge plowed straight into the enemy skirmishers and your sword ran red with their blood. That's a pretty cool event. I like the way that's written. I've never seen it before. Maybe it's new. Maybe they just have added in some more random events that happen in battle. That's still pretty cool. I like it. Let's go ahead and siege you down real quick. Amelie. Emily. Uh, I'm going to say, like, underhanded rogue. Has that always been called that? I don't think I ever noticed that. Hmm. No. Ah, whatever. Do it. Screw it. We're not married yet. Yeah, it's not it's not bad until it's not bad until we're uh <laughs> until we're married. Then it's a problem, but until then. Oh, I don't care. You have a weak claim on the Duchy of Upper Burgundy? Holy crap, that's really lucky. We already have a way into there, maybe. So maybe Burgundy is the route we'll go with. Ooh, I don't know. It could be good. We'll have to pay attention to our opportunities. Also, the county of Cagliari, we got a claim on now. This is wonderful, actually. Hey, Berlin is the capital of the Holy Tree. Hmm. Uh, Holy War for Pomerania, because they got eaten by. What? By who? I'm not sure. Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> well, this war shouldn't take too long, though. I'm not too worried about the budget deficit. It's a little annoying, though. It happened all the time in medieval Europe, so... Just being realistic, right? Well, there's not much, actually. So eventually, we'll be able to support this, I think. Did uh, Bator die? That sucks. He was a good... It's a good chancellor. Ooh, but this guy's even better. He could get us claims on uh, on duchies. You know what? It's probably because we, yeah, we got all those uh, new vassals now to make use of their skills. That's one of the good thing about having larger realms, you know, certainly. There we go. We got some money from plundering that. What do you want? Appoint commander? No, screw that. I'm not going to be your commander. Everything is do is going pretty well right now, I would say. There we go. Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and say... Where is this? Du jour. The Duchy of Susa. We will be able to create this. We just need some money. So let's go ahead and get rid of the troops. Take the retinue back home. And, uh, the Count of Fulquer. Hold on. Hmm, did you, are you gonna stop that? There you go. Good job. <laughs> Don't do that. Not allowed. Okay, Marshal. Do we have any Marshals that are better? No. Stewards. We, oh, God, yes. Have that steward instead. Uh, my cousin doesn't actually hate me, which is good. He hated my dad. Our domain is one province too big. It's not a huge deal. I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, we need to get Cremona to be our own before I'm really willing to uh, to do that. In fact, we can try this now. We just need like... We just need like a single backer, yeah. Yes, okay, we can do it now. Yep. Cool. Are you allied to anyone? No. Cool. Let's get all the troops raised again. Hmm. I think the timer has just gone off for me. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and, uh, and do this real quick. But yeah, if we can have our du jour duchy um, completely, you know, under our control, then I think we'll be perfectly fine for... Um, uh, we can't call you to arms. I think we'll be perfectly fine after that point to give away this other land in the Duchy of Susa, just keeping the Duchy level title for ourselves. And beyond that, then it'll be fine um, to have the land be given to someone else until we become a kingdom, at which point I don't care if someone else makes the Duchy level title, you know? Or if I have a du Duke vassal. I think it's... Basically, I think it's fine um, as long as we have four really good provinces, fairly good provinces, 
uh, as our base that we can give these away. And eventually Trent too we will want to have. That's the goal is have those five be our domain base of operations. And then after that, then we uh, give this other land to other people, you know? So, uh, we're on a good on a good start with that, I think. Turns out we might have some rebels. Let's go to speed five. Sure, why not? What is this? Uh, betrothed can marry. Look at this. Okay. Hmm. So, the Duchess of Corinthia. This is going to be... Oh, she's such a good steward, too. Yeah, this is a great person to marry, actually. I'm very happy to marry this lady. Cool. Uh, I want gold, actually. <laughs> uh, most of the time I take prestige, but this time I want gold. Cool. So what do you... What land do you... What? The Duchess of Corinthia. Did you lose some land? She owns Ulm! She owns uh, Istria, Carnton. Okay, that's pretty good. She owns two provinces there, and she also owns Ulm. Ulm! That's her capital. It's in Ulm. That's amazing. <coughs> I'm so glad that I, I married her. Hmm. <clears throat> Vassal inheritance warning. I don't want that to happen. Am I going to do much about it? Probably not. How much I can do. Hmm, there we go. Shouldn't be too much longer. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Since we're still only one over, I'm actually just not going to give it up. Just anything up yet. Yeah, just yet. It should be fine. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, yeah, put you there. No, I'm not going to become your commander. Yeah, I don't really care about that right now. Nice. Oh, we can uh, press for Nice, of course. That makes sense, actually. I think we want to do this, too. Huh. I mean, we might as well. Genoa's pretty weak, but they have a lot of money. Hmm. And we want to go to war with Pisa, too. We have a lot of wars to be doing in the next episode. This is actually going to be the... Well, so this is also going to be the end of the first uh, series uh, session of recordings. So if you've been watching this, this is probably all coming out on the Saturday of the 4th or maybe into Sunday. But uh, I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Again, this is the last time I'll say this, but it's fairly early on in the new series. It's, you know, and beyond that, it's before that... What? It's the... It's a Sunni... Catalan Duke of Aragon. So he's called a Duke because he's Catalan. That's really interesting. That's fascinating, actually. Cool. Um, yeah, either way, thank you, uh, thank you guys. That dude's white. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've been having a great time with this campaign so far, and I'm looking forward to do more, and looking forward to seeing your comments, which I will be responding to probably in the next uh, video. Maybe not. We'll see. I might record more later tonight. Either way, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.